Hello, James here with a quick match preview for Watford versus Plymouth Argyle at Vicarage Road this weekend. Watford facing the new, newly crowned League One champions in their first season back in the championship for a very, very long time. They've won their first two games of the season, a emphatic win on the opening day, and they also recently won in the Carabao Cup first round as well. Whereas Watford, we beat QPR 4-0 on the opening day, a sensational performance. We absolutely tore them apart, uh, but unfortunately lost in the Carabao Cup to Stevenage Town on penalties during the week. So a mixed start for Watford, albeit the Carabao Cup, who really cares? Um, and Plymouth Argyle have made a fantastic start in the championship as well. So I'm very, very excited for this game. What do I expect from Plymouth Argyle? I'm not entirely sure. I know last season in League One, they had um, some fantastic attacking players. Morgan Whitaker is a player I really, really like to watch. He scored on the, on the opening day this season as well. Uh, kind of a big striker, six foot two, but still very quick. Uh, can contribute to assists as well. Um, so he's a player for me to keep an eye on from Plymouth. In terms of Watford and our recent team news, uh, Yassir Espria potentially may be out of the club. Brighton, Newcastle and Porto are interested in Yassir Espria according to various sources. So I think for me, that's one to keep an eye on. Is he a player I'd like to see leave the club? Not really. I feel like we are kind of lacking a little bit in that attacking area, especially attacking midfield in terms of creativity. I know we've recently brought in Georgie Chakvedatsi, uh, but he's quite injury prone and new to the club as well. Whereas Yasir Espia was here last season. He's very young. He has time to develop. So um, if we were to get rid of Espria, I'd like it to be for a fee where Watford can maybe reinvest in a few more players to bulk up the squad in that attacking section a little bit more. Um, other team news, Jamal Lewis and Tom Ince, Flair and Ismail confirmed won't be ready for this game. Jamal Lewis obviously coming in on loan from Newcastle United with an option to buy. Again, very, very excited about that signing, but he unfortunately won't be available for this Plymouth game at Vicarage Road. It seems like they're not actually injured, both Tom Ince and Jamal Lewis. It seems like they're just a little bit behind in terms of their fitness, which is fair enough. I think in this Valera and Ismail side, we've seen the intensity required to play this system. Uh, you know, a very, very high line is required by the defence, which obviously takes a little bit more effort than we saw last season, where maybe we sat back a little bit more. Daniel Batman comes off his line to play that sweeper-keeper role. And then you've seen already the front line, Matthias Martins, Ken Semmer, Vacuum Bio, really pressing, um, you know, the back line of, of whatever opposition we face. And of course, over time, that is going to maybe tie the players out a little bit. So, um, yeah, I think we're just letting them get up to the, the fitness required needs needed to play in this Valerian Ismail side. Now, in terms of how Watford will set up, will we stay um, in, term, in terms of the personnel Valerian Ismail will select? Will we stay the same as we saw against QPR? I think we will do. I think it maybe will be exactly the same team, bar maybe Jeremy Ngakia, who picked up a knock during that Stevenage game in midweek. Um, and of course, you know, the team played really well against QPR. Don't get me wrong. The performance was absolutely brilliant. Some of the goals we scored were Absolutely superb. Imran Luza running the midfield. Um, you know, it was a great performance all round, but I do think maybe we all got a little bit carried away. I feel like QPR will potentially be down there in terms of the relegation battle this season. Um, and I think Plymouth Argyle will provide a much tougher test, which for me in my brain is counterintuitive because they've just been promoted from League One. And you would expect Watford to be a newly promoted team. However, this Plymouth side for me just offers something a bit different. They're attacking players for me. Just looks so, so exciting. They scored loads and loads of goals last season. And they won on the opening day this season. Their defence is going to be much stronger than QPR. QPR played two academy centre-backs in that Watford game last week. Um, so for me, this is the first real test of this season. And of course, they'll be followed by, um, you know, a superb away back in Plymouth Argyle. Uh, it's probably the furthest club in terms of location from all the other championship clubs. But they'll be buzzing to be back in this division. And I'm sure they'll be buzzing to be playing against Watford as well. Their first real big game of the season. You know, you look at the other championship clubs, the big teams in this division are kind of Watford, Norwich, 
Leeds, Southampton, Leicester, uh, Stoke, West Brom, them types of games. Uh, yeah, I'm sure Plymouth will be up for this. And I want to beat Watford as well. Of course, they will do. So um, for me as a Watford fan, I'm going to predict a 2-0 Watford win to continue the momentum we saw in the opening day. However, I don't think it may be as easy as we all are anticipating. And I do think Plymouth may score in this game. So actually, I'm not going to go for 2-0. I'll go 2-1 to Watford. I think we'll just about get over the line. Uh, but I do think Plymouth may score in this game as well. So let me know your thoughts in the comments section down below. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already. And I'll catch you again very, very soon. Bye-bye.